Hi, welcome back uh, to another great discussion about uh, social media, marketing, everything involved in promoting your business, promoting your service, promoting your event. And uh, we have uh, a fantastic lady out of the Ottawa area in Ontario, Canada. She has a business called Sophia J Events. Please welcome uh, founder Sophia Jacob to the show. How are you doing today, Sophia? Really well, Nikki. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Fantastic. Um, Sophia, we're going to be talking about what you do and uh, also tackle some some information about, you know, uh, how people can get involved in social media uh, and how social media can be used to boost business. So the first thing I'd like to know is um, a little bit more about your company and telling us what the different services you offer. So we're an event and media marketing company. So we do event planning, logistics, public relations, uh, communications, uh, publicist, anything like that. Um, we do day of coordination. Um, we do a lot of conferences, uh, trade shows, anything to that effect. If somebody needs those services, we have uh, the capabilities to take care of that as well as in um, in the social media realm and the media realm. If they need any additives to their event, we can do that as well, or separate, you know, to boost their business with the entrepreneurs and the professionals in and around the city. And, uh, you know, we're going Canada-wide, so we want to be able to offer services that will be able to give your brand some buzz. So we have those different services available through the uh, the, the company. Okay, excellent. So the other thing that I'd like to know is how do you help your clients get started on social media? And we know that social media is another fantastic forum of uh, getting exposure. Right, right. So there's uh, there's the many different platforms, and um, a lot of people are already on social media in one way or another. And a lot of the clients that we deal with, you know, they're 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 either on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, but majority of them are on Facebook because that's Facebook has had the most prominent space in in their business and in their personal lives. So they start off with a personal profile and they want to be able to branch into having maybe a Facebook page for their business. So that's where we come in to maybe help create, or if they already have one, just help spruce it up and give, again, a little bit of boost, advertising, promotion, help them figure out ways to give some brand buzz for their business. Um, the different business owners and entrepreneurs, they're always looking for different ways to attract clients and customers to their business, and we help them do that by, you know, I mean, strategizing and consulting on different things for their business. Um, getting the Facebook page up and started and created, we also have that, we also, but we also want to teach the entrepreneurs kind of how to manage that themselves if and when they are ready to do so or if they want to keep us on to do that then they can and then we still want to be able to teach them some skills if they want to be able to post something that you know if it's an immediate post they want to get it out and they've got no time to send it to us we are able to be there to kind of give them those skills that are just very basic that they can kind of manage their pages as well. So we start off with um, consulting services and um, the first consultation, and then we move into the different packages that we have. Okay, excellent. So how, how are you using social media to help other businesses attract business? So it's it's it, what, what happens is um, from – our standpoint, when we look at your business, we say, okay, what does your business need? Is it B2B, B2C, or you're just wanting, you know, uh, new engagement, you want some awareness, some promotion, if you're having a sale, or if you're going to be doing a new product launch, you know, we want to be able to kind of highlight those areas for you, and we find ways of doing that through um, putting out different alerts, different media campaigns different Facebook advertisements and promotions and using those tools that are on either Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or, or um, um, Instagram, sponsored posts, you know, those types of things to attract these different uh, client customer. And, of course, great content is, uh, is key to attracting the, uh, the different people to your business online. 
All right, fantastic. So how are you using social media um, as a platform? Uh, and specifically, the social media I'm talking about is Facebook. It's, it's the number one platform on social media. But is there a right way and a wrong way to use Facebook? Um, we suggest if you, you have a business and you want to be able to promote your business, it's not, you know, it's not a bad thing to share your business to, mm-hmm. to your personal profile, but we suggest not, you know, always putting out business posts on your personal profile. It's so much better to have a business page. That way you can build events from the business page and build different promotion it, promotions and advertise from your business page. It's just so much easier for uh, for you to be able to go through it that way than instead of always using your profile, your Facebook profile, where you can just be socially sharing with your friends, mm-hmm. family, you know, and those type of things. It's, it's much better to have a Facebook business page. And we lead the different um, people that we help out down that path to get a Facebook page up and running and getting the advertisements and things like that going through there and just helping them use utilize those tools. Okay, excellent. So what do you suggest people do if they want to market themselves beyond the free page? Because, you know, we've got a bunch of free pages that you mentioned, but what if you want to take it further and, and really get um, a, a, like a big announcement on Facebook? How do, how do you get – more notice. There's there's different ways. There is um, you can start a group where you can engage with your your clientele base or um, your other business owners or other entrepreneurs and professionals where you can talk about your business through there. So that's still free and that's always good because there's engagement, there's discussion, and in those type of groups, you know, you can talk about your business. Um, get the promotions out and get some advertising out. But there's also paid advertising, sponsored posts. These are really good if you're going to boost a, boost a post or pay for some advertising through um, through Facebook. Um, if you're going to be marketing your business, you should always have marketing dollars, and that is a good place to do it. Facebook has those tools again and capabilities to give you the options to you know boost your post and um, put up an advertisement uh, through Facebook where you'll be able to be seen more beyond and past um, people who have liked your page. Then it will go further to where people who who liked your page and their friends and then beyond that. So more and more people see it um, if you were able to sponsor a, an ad or boosting the post. Okay. Fantastic. Well, I think I've learned a lot. Um, from from you about social media as as well as the uh, listeners, uh, what if they have uh, specific questions for you? How can they connect with you um, either by phone or by email? That's great. Um, so we're on Facebook, of course, at Sophia J Events, as well at Twitter at Sophia J Events. We're also on Instagram at Sophia dot Jacob underscore Events. Um, if you want to reach us by phone, it's one six one three two eight two two nine two two, and email me at sophia at sophiajevents dot com. Okay, excellent. Well, we look forward to uh, another great episode. Um, so thank, you. and uh, we'll be in touch soon. You've been listening to uh, Sophia Jacob uh, of Sophia J Events in uh, Ottawa, Ontario.